Good afternoon, Game World GR fans. We are here with Sebastian Pelicano from uh, Milestone. He's the sales account manager and he's going to speak with us uh, for two uh, games that we just saw in the Greek press event. Uh, the Moto, the new MotoGP. Yes. And uh, Sebastian uh, Le Rally Evo. Yeah. Uh, so, um, can we start about with uh, the Sebastian Rally Evo, which uh, I liked it, you know, I'm more like a fan of the car racing than okay. from the bike racing. Uh, we saw that the response um, at the gameplay, you know, when we play the response of the controls are a bit, uh, you know, more slower uh, than it should be. I started with snow, but I thought it was due to the snow. But when I tried also the after the Sweden, the Australian stage, I saw that we had a bit you know, a uh, slow response to the controls. Are you going to improve this uh, to the final version? Uh, at the moment, what you've tried is a uh, working progress version. So we are still uh, mm, working on improving the physics, also the graphics, the stages, uh, the, the damage model. So everything is work in progress. At the moment, we are working really close to with Sebastian Loeb. Uh, you know, it's the nine times World Rally yeah. Champion. And he's helping us to uh, get the best of the uh, physics in a video game uh, for the uh, pad, the controller, or also for the steering wheels. So yes, everything will be just perfect in the final game. We will be able to uh, have for E3 something really, really accurate. Uh, and then we are con continuously working with Sebastian Loeb to get really something, something perfect at the end. Okay. Um, I'm not that familiar with WRC racing. I'm more like, you know, with um, arcade racing or you know, just more simple simulation racing. Is it going to be easy for someone that is not a big racing fan to play with the game? I mean, how many difficulty levels are you going to implement? And uh, is this the default difficulty level, the normal? Can you give us you know, some uh, details? Because the roads were a bit um, narrow, so it was a difficult Every movement. Everything in Sebastian Labrador Evo is based on reality. We uh, gathered, uh, all the team went to the real uh, rally uh, to gather the, uh, all the, um, the, the GPS data and we reproduced each road into the game as the real road, uh, the real special stage into the real life. So if the road is narrow, it's because in the real life it's a narrow road. And the physics is, um, uh, we work in collaboration with manufacturers and engineers of uh, rally cars uh, in order to have exactly the uh, good um, feeling for the cars and the road. Of course, uh, there, is two, uh, there are two different aspects uh, of this. The first one is you will have Sebastian Loeb with you to teach you how to drive the car. So he will um, continuously teach you, uh, okay, do this, this for, as a technique. And who better than the nine-time world rally champion to teach you how to drive a car? I think no one. And the second point, and of course, uh, we will add some uh, helps into the game to allow um, uh, new drivers, new uh, players actually, to, to, to experience a good fun into the game. Okay, um, also uh, you're going to have split screen in both games? Yes. Okay, um, what else? Can you tell us the total number of uh, cars and bikes for both games or just an estimate? Yeah, so for MotoGP 15, uh, let's start with MotoGP, uh, it's going to be the biggest MotoGP ever. We have the full complete roster for 2014 and the full complete roster for 2015. So that makes a total of 122 teams and 200 different riders, 200 different bikes into the game. It's huge. Plus we will have some DLCs adding some new uh, old historical bikes. And about Sebastian uh, About Sebastian Lebralievo, we have a total of uh, 60 different models from the 60s to uh, tomorrow. So we will have uh, also cars will be uh, available, uh, uh, the manufacturer will release next year into the game. So it makes a total of 60 different cars, I mean for the uh, main game. Okay. Uh, can you tell some differences uh, from this version to the previous MotoGP version? You know, some differences that will make uh, potential customers to buy the new version of the game? Yeah, definitely. In terms of gameplay, but also graphics. Definitely. We um, improved almost any aspect of the title, from the graphics, uh, illumination, lighting, uh, grass, vegetation, trees, um, bikes, shaders, everything has been improved in terms of graphics. Everything has been improved in terms of uh, realism, uh, the simulation level, 
um, the AI uh, behavior, everything. And we also had for the first time in a MotoGP video game the possibility to have a custom team. So the player will be able to create his own rider, his own team, um, and um, make them uh, improve uh, buying new bikes, improving the bikes, changing the helmet, the gloves. So everything will be uh, customizable <laughs> into the game. Mm -hmm. So that's for the first time in a MotoGP. About the online uh, multiplayer, um, both games are going to have, you know, just single courses, not online career mode, right? Are you going to, uh, any of them is going to have okay. an online career? So MotoGP will have a full uh, MotoGP experience online, really stable. Our community asks us to have something stable, um, no bugs, and that's what the team focus on during all the development. So the, the, the online is big, huge, and really stable, really, really complete experience. For uh, Sebastian Loeb, the online will be, um, uh, the game will be always online. So each time you will do a race, you will have the possibility to compare your uh, results to other people in the world with the leaderboard, which is always connected. So you're not playing at the same time in the Sebastian Rally, you cannot crash with other opponents. In, in the rally, uh, of course, yes, that was a request of Sebastian Loeb. You will have okay. the ghost of other people if you mm -hmm. want to do live. Uh, or you will be able to do just time attack and compare your time mm -hmm. because rally experience is about uh, 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 competing against the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But have, uh, uh, you, sh you, you saw during the presentation, we also have the rally cross mode, and in the rally cross, you have uh, six cars going together on the road, on the circuit. And those six cars will always be uh, together with collision, and it's going to be a full online, really fun. Uh, gameplay. In the MotoGP, what is the, uh, the total number of 16. players online? 16 players 16 online. Players online. Okay. Uh, and it's user stuff. Can you tell us for the career mode of the new MotoGP 15 that they're going to keep the players more than the previous version? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Thanks to the custom team I explained before uh, yeah. that you have the possibility to customize your team, to buy new motor home, to, to put your color on your box, uh, to have your engineer with your color, your sponsors, um, you can buy new stuff, gloves, helmets. So that will allow you to, um, uh, to, to have a, a full experience. You will also be able to, uh, to, to choose some uh, uh, real teams and come back to your custom team after. So it's just a completely full experience. You, you will be able to improve your bike, to do test uh, session with your engineer, improve it uh, again and again and again until finding the good settings and the good setup. However, in the Sebastian Rally Evo, the career mode will be a bit different. Will you still be able to buy their parts as well for your car and improve the car? Oh, in Sebastian Lab, it's not... Uh, in MotoGP, we are uh, having a real MotoGP. It's an official championship experience. Mm -hmm. In Sebastian Lab, it's completely different. You have uh, two main uh, core modes into the game. Um, the first one will be the Sebastian Lab experience, where you will have to leave the Sebastian Lab life. Um, it will be divided by Hira, and you will, uh, Sebastian Loeb will explain his life, how he felt during the, the rally, uh, when he lose, when he win, and everything. Uh, and you will have to uh, drive the car Sebastian Loeb dr was driving at the time on the, the race Sebastian Loeb was uh, doing at the time. So that's the Sebastian Loeb experience. Then the career mode, you're a young driver, hired by Sebastian Loeb and his team. Sebastian will teach you how to drive and you will be able to buy a car, customize your car, add some parts, improve it, speak with the engineer to improve it again and uh, change the setup and, uh, and everything. Release and uh, platforms for both games? Okay, MotoGP will be released uh, by the end of June uh, on um, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One and PC. And Sebastian Lab will be re released at fall um, this year, 2015 and they will be just on uh, next generation, so PS4, Xbox One and PC. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, it was a pleasure. <laughs> Πάμε σωστό λάθος. Ναι, σωστό λάθος, συμφωνώ. Πάμε σωστό λάθος. Η Κύπρος ε, έχει εταιρεία Game Development. Η Κύπρος. Η Κύπρος. Εταιρεία. Έχει εταιρεία. Το παίρνω πάνω. Τώρα πλέον έχουμε 7 maps, 36 heroes και θα συνεχίσουν να αυξάνονται. Περισσότερα modes τώρα μπορείτε να παίξετε και στο hero mode, το οποίο είναι το rank. Για να μπείτε εκεί μέσα πρέπει να είστε level 30 και πάνω.